It is a much different feeling than a couple nights ago sitting in here, Abu. I mean, just just how badly did you guys just need a win to try to turn things around here? Definitely needed a win. Definitely needed a win. Um, proud of our guys. They competed. We had a lot of adversity throughout the game. And they just kept fighting, man. They just kept fighting. It just shows the result of this team. I mean, it wasn't looking good there at times in the second half. You're down 6-7 again. The fans are getting a little restless. And then I think you end the game on like a 14-2 to run or something. I mean, what what... How badly did you guys need to play well those final five, six minutes and pull this out? Uh, we had to lock down, uh, really focusing on our defense. That's what really got uh, got us going on offense. Every time we, we guard and get out of the transition, that's when we're at our best. So you guys did a pretty good job of that today. You guys seem to kind of in the final four minutes pick those uh, free throw demons six for eight down the stretch. Just what started clicking there for you guys? Uh, we just kept shooting them. We just kept shooting them. Uh, free throws is all mental. so. When you go up to that line, you just gotta empty your mind. And we shot free throws thousands of times. So it's just all about muscle memory. Don't think money. You guys were down two, and uh, you kind of ball the top of the key, and you, you know what, you turned in, in shape, it was wide open. Uh, what was going through your mind just kind of at that point? Get the ball to my sniper. He's, <laughs> get the ball to my sniper. Man, he's, Shaver's automatic, man. If he's open, you know it's going in, so. Got to always find him more shots, get him more involved in the offense because he's a huge piece for our team and he does so much for us. Uh, I'll ask you about that shot, Marcus. Just to, to lean into that thing, it, it, it looked good for the moment to lift your hand. Is it, what, what, what did you think of making that? I mean, at the moment, you, you needed it. Um, man, I, I wasn't even thinking, to be honest. It was just another shot. I knew it was going in. Uh, Wooski found me. My guy collapsed. Just, it was just confidence, really. Just a lot of reps. And he believes in me. I believe in myself. My team believes in me, and I just knocked it down. Doing the way this, you know, the season started. How, how awesome is it to, to see that one kind of be the you know, that got you guys over the hump, and you never look back after that? Uh, it feels amazing. Um, finally getting a dub in this arena. Uh, just I, I think the fans really have a lot to do with it. Like they bring the energy every night, and uh, it just feels good to get the get the dub for them, and uh, just keep the momentum going from here. You know, after having two close losses uh, to start the home stand, what does it mean to you guys, or just how 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 important is it to close it out with a win? One more time, please. Yeah, after getting two close losses, you know, to act, to finally close one out, what's what's that mean for you guys? It feels good. I mean, like I said, just keep the, the momentum going, um, not get uh, complacent, and just uh, just keep working hard, stick with with what's working, and um, yeah, just keep it going. Marcus, you uh, kind of were within a triple double tonight, kind of flirting with it a little bit. Um, seven assists. Um, Coach has really stressed moving the ball, but it seems like you've been really aware of people lately. You had that bounce pass through traffic in the game before, um, which I know you lost. So just moving the ball, how important has it been for you guys and kind of changing the momentum? Uh, it's very important, moving the defense, uh, just getting everybody involved and um, just finding guys' shots. And um, yeah, it's just very important for this team, making sure everybody touches the ball and uh, just get them shots. Can one win? I mean, I know it's one win, but I mean, can is that just all this team needed, just one, and maybe it can be the start of something here? For sure. Yeah. The start of something special. Um, we put in the work, and we believe in each other, and you know, just a matter of time before we just keep getting better and better and better and you know, reach our potential. You guys, you know, you had the, the points record the other day, and unfortunately you said another record tonight with the turnovers, you know, at least under Leon. I mean, 24 turnovers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what? That was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, everyone can blame me for that. Nah, you can laugh about it because you want, I guess. But I mean, uh, you know, it seemed at, at times tonight you guys were just almost gi giving it right to them. It seemed like. I mean, what, what, what was going on with taking care of the ball tonight? Uh, they just played a different defense. We just had to adjust to it. And once we figured it out, it was pretty easy. Yeah. But it takes a little while, longer than we should have. But you know, it happens. Part of the game. You just got to learn and grow from it. So. What was your guys' take, obviously, on you know Devin Air no longer with the team and. And obviously, you guys are, you know, you put Tyson in the starting lineup, and he's obviously giving you guys a spark. I mean, what's just your take on what the, the roster looks like at this point, I guess? Uh, the roster's looking good. You know, guys are really filling their roles, um, and they're just embracing their roles. Um, that's a big thing for us, guys embracing their roles, because that's when they play at their best. And, you know, these dudes have been doing a heck of a job, and they're going to continue to do so. And it's just going to create great things for our team going forward. But was Devin Air one of your roommates? Yes. How, how, how tough was, was that for you or for him to, to see what happened? Uh, it was tough, uh, definitely. It was a sad day at the house, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, you just got to keep moving forward and get better.
your freshman uh, getting into the starting lineup tonight, a uh, second night in a row, but um, he had a pretty big block there towards the end uh, of number 41, who was playing pretty lights out. So have you, how much have you seen his confidence grow and, and have that ability? Somebody just already asked that, literally. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're really like I was asking something that already been no, asked. No, I was just thinking. So how much have you seen his confidence grow, I guess, to you know these last couple of games? I mean, you see it with uh, how he plays. He's very confident, steps into his shots, knocks them down. Um, makes plays downhill, really guards. He's surprising me of how good of a defender on these strong as he is. Um, he's doing a heck of a job. We can trust him down there with a four or five, what, six, seven, two thirty. So yeah, he's, he's a big body. He seems to have taken charges down too. Oh, I mean, he's, he's like one of the guys you can count on he's to a monster take one charge. Charges. Yeah. I think he gets that through me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I see the, the goals on the board. Relentless rebounding right there. Uh, 35 to 21 advantage tonight. Just, what, what were you guys doing on the glass that just really dominated them? Um, just effort. Just going out there and getting the ball. Uh, and your guy. Either you get punked or you punk them. So. Nice. Marcus, <laughs> what were you, you, I guess you had eight. What were you, uh, what, what were you seeing on the boards? I was just trying to get the ball before anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just hitting my guy, make sure he's not. I know they crash hard. They try. They get a lot of old boards, so I just try to crack my guy before he got the ball.